<laughs> Nagi, what's wrong with you? Uh, Naomi. Hey, the snap other... out of it! <sighs> I swear loyalty to New Himuka. Nagi? Uh, Yuito? <laughs> Another? Other. Other. My head. Nagi? Are you okay? Yuito, help Kasane. I'll get Nagi out of here. Got it. Let's go, Kasane. Leave it to me. Captain Seto, Kasane, thank you. Uh, you saved us. Oh. Are you okay? Uh, yes. What? Do you feel sick? You're really spaced out. Don't worry about me, I'm fine. Anyway, let's go to Karin. Go to him? Can we beat him? No, he's not our enemy. But he attacked us. No. I found out about Naomi. It's... Nagi! What are you doing? No questions. I will dispose of you. <sighs> ah! Nagi! <sighs> now I understand. Nagi, you're... Get out of my way, Captain! I can't do that. Nagi, you don't want to kill Yuito. If you do, you'll regret it! <sighs> Nagi! <sighs> then you will die! <sighs> <sighs> Seto! 
I won't die that easily, Nagi. After all, you're a part of my platoon. I'll be damned if they take you! What's wrong? My power. Could it be resonating with Kasane's? What is this place? Uh, uh, Yuito. Are you alright, Kasane? Yes. <clears throat> Where are we? Hey, that's the Sumeragi Crest. And that man over there is... Dressed like the legendary Yakumo Sumeragi. just happened to us but where's Kasane <gasps> Hanabi are you okay Hanabi yeah huh why is this happening finally found you Sukumi thank goodness are you all right No, it's too late. <gasps> You're all right. Gamma, what do you want? You still want to fight? Not after that earthquake. No one has the will to fight. Earthquake? You don't remember? After we were attacked by Major General Karin, there was a really big earthquake here. I didn't notice at all. It must have been while I was unconscious. Look at that sky. What is that? 
There's some kind of gravitational anomaly happening there. Her fellow OSF got sucked in with the debris. I projected my sight inside, but couldn't see anything. It's dangerous to get close. Also, the fire is spreading this way. We won't make it unless we leave now. Okay. Gemma, we'll call a truce for now. Let's get out of here to better assess the situation. All right. Wait, what about Captain Seto's body? We can't just leave him here. I'll carry him. Let's move to our hideout for now. Everyone, follow me. I wonder if Kasane is okay. And what about that image I saw? What was that? I borrowed the freezer in the back of the warehouse next door and put Seto's body in it. Thank you for carrying him, Gemma. Don't mention it. First Naomi, then the captain. I knew being in the OSF was dangerous. But this... You're right. All this infighting. You were involved in that infighting too, Gemma. What's happening? Tell me if you know. How did things end up like this? It's all Major General Karin's doing. He said that the new Himuka government is trying to create a controlled society centralized around the Suo capital. That's consistent with what I've seen and heard. A controlled society? What's that mean? For example, 90% of all psionics will be drafted into the OSF with no right to refuse. The draft uses the results of the annual health checkup, which we also can't refuse. There are countless surveillance cameras in the city. Not many people know this, but the cameras are also equipped with sound recording. It's how they find and arrest dissidents. In the new Himuka regime, that's just the tip of the iceberg. This is an open secret, but there are some in the OSF that suddenly go through changes in their personality. They were all critical of the regime, so the rumor is that their minds were manipulated. Manipulate the mind? That might be what happened to Nagi. Major General Karin said he would stop this control of the people and he would expel the government dogs from the OSF. Government dogs? Is that why he attacked Captain Seto? Yes. He said Seto was taking part in the government's personality rehabilitation. He showed me the evidence, but I still couldn't believe it. That's why I confronted Seto, so I could talk to him. Captain Seto? No, it looked like he was trying to keep Nagi with us. Captain Seto wouldn't have done that. That's not who he was. Wait, Tsugumi. Gemma knows that too. The evidence he saw was that convincing. Yeah, but it didn't look like Seto was involved in the government's plan. And then there was that strange hole in the sky, an earthquake after you were attacked by Major General Karn. That wasn't ordinary. Several OSF soldiers were sucked into that hole. Even then, he wouldn't stop his plans for rebellion. That made me question him as well. So that's why you called the truce? Yes, this isn't a simple rebellion. Something's not right. I need to know what it is. The rebellion I was part of took Seto's life. Yuito, you trust Gemma, don't you? But he didn't trust us. Sugumi's right. I should have been more careful. Will you give me the chance to learn the truth? I want to know if he really started this rebellion for the sake of the people. I want to know too. I'm curious about that hole in the sky as well. So let's go to Suo together. There must be some clues. Tsugumi, can you accept that? No, I can't. But if he apologizes, I can see it through somehow. Right. I should have been more careful. The truth is, I let my indignation get the best of me. I'm sorry. I owe an apology to Seto, too. Though it's too late. Apology accepted. Okay, let's rest a bit and then go to Suo. I don't think I've 
I've spoken to Hanabi lately. What Nagi did to Captain Seto. I saw it with my own eyes and I still can't believe it. What happened to you, Nagi? Are you sure? Are you sure? What is it? Thanks... for everything. Huh? <laughs> sure, you too. It's gotten easier to talk to you. I'm happy to hear you say that. Promise from last time? Yeah, we said we'd talk again sometime. How about now? There's something OSF related I wanted to talk to you about. Okay, let's go to Masubi's. Back when I was a cadet, I thought that fighting in the OSF as children of the state would mean doing good. I'd defeat the evil others as part of the heroic OSF. But things aren't really that simple. I know. Everyone had their own motives. I never imagined the OSF would be fighting each other. What is the right thing to do? It's something I really need to sit down and think about, but I don't know. You're right. 
I get uneasy about it too sometimes. Although, I think it's better to take action than let worry consume you. You have such a positive attitude. I don't know if that's positive. I just think it's better than being kept in the dark the whole time. You have to gather as much intel as you can before something happens that can't be undone. <sighs> You're so sure of yourself. You're like Kasane in that way. Really? Yeah. Even if you two don't agree, you both are so sure of yourselves. I think that's really strong. I'm the same class here as both of you, but I'm always hesitating and worrying. If you didn't push me, I think I would have given up a long time ago. You always saved me too. I wouldn't have made it this far if it wasn't for you. I'm happy to hear you say that. But you don't need to placate me. I'm not placating. You're always so cheerful. You push me to keep going forward. As kids, you always cheered me up when I was feeling sad. I wouldn't be here without you. I know it's just flattery, but it's still a little embarrassing. It's not flattery. I'm genuinely grateful. I need you. <sighs> Do you mean... But not just you, Hanabi. I guess I need everyone by my side. Oh, right. Friends are important. Yeah. There's so much to think about, but you get stuck in a rut when you don't confide in people. So feel free to talk to me or anyone else when you need to. I'm sure we'll be able to help you somehow. Yeah, I mean, talking to you has helped. Well, I'm heading back to the hideout. Okay, see you later. Thanks for listening. There still seems to be something on her mind, but at least she cheered up a bit. I don't think that's true. I'm not built to be especially kind. You don't even realize it. That's what makes you cool. Oh, I, um... Don't take it weird. I just think you're cool as a friend. Recently, I've been thinking how much I've gotten to know you. Me too. I thought I already knew you, but I keep finding something new. Are you sure? I'm 
I'm tired. Maybe I should rest. Okay. Let's go to Suo. I'm worried about Water. I hope he's okay. Hey, Major General Karn started a rebellion, right? There are probably other OSF that aligned with him, like Gemma was. There's even a chance that the Major General will be there too. If we find ourselves up against him, do you think we got what it takes to win? Major General Karin is powerful. He's a Septentrion. The Brain Eater. When his brain field hit me, my body convulsed like I was having a seizure. I learned how to develop a brain field as a cadet, but it was too taxing to use in a real battle. The fact that he used something so dangerous means that he's not fooling around. Still, I have to go. Right, Gemma? Yes. I have to see what's happening with my own eyes. Why are there others in the city? Wataru, what's going on? No response from Wataru. What's wrong? The city system stopped? Be careful. Arahabaki, the computer that controls all of Suo, has shut down. I don't know the cause, but all of the city's defense systems are offline. That led others into the city, and the chaos is spreading. Wataru, what does that mean? You're able to contact him? I'll see if I can reboot Sinet from here. Eliminate as many others from the city as you can. This isn't our normal communication, but my telepathy. The comms are down, so I can only speak to you. I can't hear you, so don't bother replying. Do your best to survive. What? Hey, Wataru! Yuito, Wataru is communicating only to you? It looks like Sinet is down, so he's contacting me telepathically. I see. So we'll be without his support for a while. Yeah. He says Arahabaki was shut down, and the defense system is down too. And he said there are others in the city he wants us to take care of. He'll be focusing on rebooting the system. He wants us to eliminate the others, but we don't know where or how many there are. Yeah. Sugumi. Give us the rundown about each and every other you find. We'll take them out. Understood. It might be difficult in such a large area, but I'll try. Okay. Let's just clean up the others around us first. Understood. Understood. I can't believe Suo's systems went down. It's usually full of visions. Hit it! It's mostly bad. But it makes me nervous when you're all gone. Alright! Yeah! Not yet! We did it! Yuito, Major General Fubuki is in our vicinity. <laughs> Where? Two o'clock. Coming this way. Who are you under? Uh, Captain Seto is dead, so currently... Seto is dead? Wait, are you under Karn's command? Or did he not summon you? Major General Fubuki, I'll explain the situation. I see. So Karn didn't summon any soldiers here other than Gemma. Um, what's going on? It looks like the city defense system is down. I'll explain later. I still don't fully grasp what's happening as well. What I know for sure is that he stirred up some members of the OSF and conspired with the Seiron forces. With them, he attacked Suo. So he did this to the city? Were you aware of this, Gemma? I didn't think he'd let others into the city, but I knew. Since you're with Yuito now, you're not aligning yourself with Seiron. Am I correct in that assumption? That's right. All right, I'll take any OSF allies I can get. You will all be under me now. 
I've split up troops to evacuate civilians, but there's just not enough of us. We'll help. I don't know what he's thinking, but I can't believe he'd endanger civilians. Thank you. Then I name Yuito as your temporary platoon leader. Me? Yes. Some of the council members failed to evacuate and are heading to shelter on foot. There's no communication from the backup OSF or the National Defense Forces. I want you to go see what's going on. The chairman and council members will feel safe with you. My father? Understood. I don't know what's going on, but it is dangerous. Everyone be careful. Even if you see other OSF, they may not be allies. There's no word of Seiron forces invading, but we don't know everything. We can't contact the central control center that houses Arahabaki. So don't take any risks. I'm counting on you. Understood. I'm going to the central control center. First, we need to reboot the defense system or the battle control system. Let's head for OSF headquarters. The council shelter should be near there. You're okay with that, Gemma? Yes. My desire to protect Suo is the same as yours. I swear my loyalty. At least until this situation settles down. I trust you. What is Major General Karin thinking attacking Suo? Even if he has some reason, this is wrong. Thanks, Nami! It's down! Give it everything you've got! Okay. Here 
situation. If he's attacked by another, please be okay until I get there. This is good. Okay? You're Chairman Sumeragi's. Yes, I'm Yuito Sumeragi. There are others all over the city. Please go to the shelter right away. Please hurry to OSF headquarters. The chairman is being attacked by what look like OSF soldiers. What? My father? Hurry and help the chairman. Understood. Let's hurry. I'm worried about your dad. Right. is being attacked by OSF? What the hell? I have to hurry. 
hurry! Are you okay? Dad! Out of the way! What are you doing? <laughs> Yuito, you must die. What? What are you saying? I made a promise to you. Arm yourself! You promised me that you'd kill me? What are you talking about? You don't need to understand. Die! Stop me, Kazane! Don't go near them, Hanabi. Kasane means business. If you get too close, not only will you not stop her, you could die. I can still fight. Give up! Damn it. What is Kasane thinking? At this rate, Dad will... Kasane, we can do whatever you want later. I'm just worried about my father right now. Please, stop. There's nothing to talk about. Why? Stop it! By any means. You won't get away. That was close. Come on. Stop. By any means. You won't get away. What do you think you're doing? What do I do? Dad... I have to find a way to stop Kasane, even for a second. Oh, right. The brain field. I should be able to do it. I'm not as strong as Major General Karin, but if I try, though it might be too much for me. No! Think about that later. I don't have time to hesitate. Sorry, Kasane. This is all I could think of! I can do this! Yuito's brain. It's a no 
overdrive. It's dangerous. You, Joe, do you read me? Close the brain field right now. to me is this the brain field no I can still fight wait what are you doing why are you trying to kill me and my father Kasane did you stab my father What's this? Attention all citizens of New Himuka. You blind fools who denied the truth before your own eyes. I am Karin Travers of the OSF. I reject the control of the New Himuka government as one of the Awoken. My allies and I have decided to cooperate with Seiron, who share our will. Pitiful citizens of New Himuka, don't turn your eyes from the truth. This nation is insane. They control the city, the information, and the people with Sinet. Not even your thoughts are free. You are nothing but livestock born to be used by the state. Himuka is a regime that eliminates those that threaten them by driving them insane. They only raise submissive livestock they can control. There is no justice. Hey, Kasane's getting away. Wait! Wait! Yuito. Dad? Sugumi, we're going after Kasane. Yes. Dad! Yuito... I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? There's so much... I have to tell you. Be careful. This nation... Uh, this nation, we... You... Uh, Dad! Mr. Sumaragi! No way! You can't... You can't die! Dad, please!
looks like the end of Major General Karn's speech video. The government has started blocking it so it's inaccessible. So that means what he was saying is true. I knew everyone was under some control, but information is seriously being limited. <sighs> Why don't you rest a little? I mean, this must be hard for you. I'm sorry to make you worry. Don't apologize. I mean, something like that happening right in front of you? It would be hard for anyone. Kasane... killed my father? Why would she do that? Did she really? And if New Himuka was trying to make a controlled society, my father and brother were at the center of it. Could he actually do such a thing? If so, then what's the reasoning behind it? Am I the only one who was kept in the dark about this? <sighs> Damn it! Nothing makes any sense! Both of you are all right. Geva! Sugumi! I'm sorry. I lost Kasane. It's frustrating. We saw our meet up with Major General Karin, but we were attacked by the OSF with him. They disappeared while we were distracted. Since Sugumi couldn't track them, they must have been moved by a teleporter. I talked to Wataru too. He's alright, but his sister... Did something happen? She disappeared. I think... she joined the Karin supporters in Ceyron. It seems nearly half of the OSF have joined him in Ceyron. There are rumors that Ceyron will declare independence. So Kasane went to Ceyron? Yeah, probably. What about you, Gamma? Yeah, I probably would have gone as well. But now, I don't understand what Major General... what Karin is doing. What do you mean? New Himuka really was watching its citizens. True, the New Himuka government is likely controlling its citizens. Even so, I don't believe that putting people in danger was the right thing to do. It seems Karin evacuated the civilians of Suo to shelters before this disturbance started. But even if he did, he was the one who let others into the city in the first place. And then there's Seto. If what he told me about Seto is true, then Seto wouldn't have risked his life to stop Nagi. If he trampled on Seto's dignity to increase his allies, then I can't forgive him. Or myself, for being a fool and not believing Seto. Right. Captain Seto. And we don't know where Nagi is. Yuito, you don't look well. Look, Sugumi's worried too. Just take a break. A lot of things just happened. Don't push yourself. <sighs> Thanks, guys.
so happy. Didn't I have something to talk to Gemma about? <laughs> <laughs>